So a couple of weeks ago, I asked the Malaysian community, where can I get the most authentic Malaysian food? And uh, I was kind of overwhelmed by the response. There's over a hundred odd replies here. I think I'm gonna need some help for this episode. This person's gonna need to have both amazing knowledge of Malaysia and New Zealand, but I think I know just the person. Yo, so we got Judy here to help us out with this Malaysian episode. Judy is a well-known Malaysian foodie and she's going to join us on this journey as we travel to three of Auckland's best Malaysian restaurants as she gives us the insights on which dishes to order. Let's, Let's go! Get started. Our first stop is Gushang in Pakaranga. And it smells absolutely amazing. This is this thing about Malaysian food, it's like a taste explosion every single time. So we got the Asam Laksa, the Watan Ho. Watan Inyong Ho. Watan Inyong Ho. And what's special about the Watan Inyong Ho? The difference of Watan Inyong Ho is that um, it comes with two types of noodles. So the flat noodles, which is being fried, cha. So you got the, a bit of a cha smell. And then we got the deep fried, uh, the kind of a vermicelli noodles. So it's just a mixture of that, it's just become amazing, so... Oh yeah, and then we got the Tananese chicken rice, which is apparently one of the best that you can get in Auckland. Alright, shall we dig into that asam laksa? Yes, sounds good. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Mm. The first thing you taste is the sourness from the asam laksa itself. But then the pineapple puts through a lot of that sweetness and then you're getting that fish as you bite into the very soft noodles. You get a little bit of that fish as well, adds a little bit of that texture. Oh, that's just so good. So good, eh? Love it? Love it. So for me, I always like it with my prawn paste. Mm. It kind of um, changed the taste a fair bit. It's not as sour as you would say. Let's go in for a little bit of this Watan Ying Yong Ho. Yes. <laughs> I've never had Watan Ying Yong Ho before and straight away you can see that there's two different types of noodles yeah. in here and it's covered by a delicious eggy gravy. In true Malaysian style, you're gonna have to put a little chopped chili on top. That actually tastes like salt. It was so smooth and the noodles were just perfect. Crispy noodles just adds that extra little bit of texture and you're getting that strong cha kway tao flavor as well, which is cha kway tao for you guys who don't know. It's noodle that's been pan fried in a very hot wok so you get a little bit of the charcoal flavor as well coming through. That is definitely one of the best wadan hauls I've had in Auckland. Ooh. You actually seem to know the owners here. Yeah, well, been pr pretty frequent here, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's a family run business, is it? Yes, so uh, they got like uh, two sisters at the front, um, you know, running the business. Family run business, so you know you're getting authentic flavour. Let's try our final dish. Thailandese chicken rice, they have a different type of chilli, we always mix it with. So the chilli itself will be uh, blended off uh, with some lime sauce itself and then it will also have a bit of a um, garlicky flavour in there, yes, the chilli. Yes. Let me enjoy this moment. Mm. Mm. It's kind of like the essence from the chicken is being used to cook the chicken rice. Okay, now let me give you my verdict on the chicken. It's perfectly salty from that soy sauce with a small pick of heat from that chili. Overall, this chicken rice, mm -hmm. very, very good quality for Malaysian style chicken rice in Auckland. But um, you know where I think you can get the very best one though. <laughs> Malaysian community, thank you so much for that recommendation. Let's go off to our next destination, yes. Uncle Man. Judy, where do you recommend from Uncle Man's? Uncle Man, here we come. So basically, Uncle Man, there's like definitely it's a roti chana, it's a must try. Yeah. Because it's handmade. Before the food comes, been given the okay to go into the kitchen and check it out. Let's go have a look. Uncle Man's is a Malay restaurant, which is one of the largest ethnicities in Malaysia, and it was such a pleasure being shown around the kitchen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. This is the Malaysian way of when you're making a coffee. So we use this. That's what they call the stocking. <laughs> Not the real stocking penny hose, okay? <laughs> Food's here. Thank you. Thank you. Food has just arrived and we're gonna start with these drinks first. I am ordered te tare. So te tare in English you call it pulling tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the way it was made is like you get the tea 
two, two of the cups of the, the jug. He goes from one cup to the other cup. One cup it? to the other cup. And that's <laughs> where you get all this bubble. bubble. Good. Like at home. <laughs> and uh, this is a drink that I used to always have in Malaysia and also Singapore, 100 plus. It's kind of like um, Powerade in New Zealand. It's an isotonic drink and it's got a real subtle flavor, but I love this stuff because you know in Malaysia and Singapore it's so hot and you need to replenish all those fluids. This is the way to go. Should we get in for some of this roti? It looks so good. The roti itself. So. The way it was made here, this one in Uncle Man, is uh, handmade. Handmade. Yes. So you can see them flying around the roti. Wow. Yeah, there. You know, doing their so-called performance, <laughs> juggle with the roti. Wow, this feels so see, good. When you pull it off, it's like. Mm, mm. Wow, you can feel that this is such different texture from like a microwave one. Yeah, and it's not oily as well. Dip in the dough, and then. It's so spongy and the texture is so good on that roti, it's crazy. Yeah, it's soft and it's fluffy, you can, and then you have a bit of the flake of it as well, you know, yeah. the flakiness of it. Mm. You know what feeling this gives me right now? Like, like you're getting a hug. That's what it feels like. Because it's so warm and comforting, this food. Yes. The satays are here now as well. The way Malaysian satays are served, it's always in this very traditional style. You got some bricks of rice. <laughs> that's what it is. That's what we call ketupat. Okay, that's like a sticky rice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see that? That's all the peanuts. Yep, and there's a bit of a kick of a spice. Um, right. Satay cheers. Satay cheers. Cheers. A little bit of that barbecue charcoal flavor coming through on the meat as well, yes. as you would expect from a Malaysian satay. Yeah. Got that caramelized sugar of a, as a coating. Mm. So it's a little bit sweet, a little bit salty, and a little bit nutty from the peanuts as well. Yeah. That's a fantastic bite. And what you do with the other end of the stick, Hope. get one of the bricks. Hook your bricks. <laughs> oh. The rice, the cooked part, has to cook nice to perfection. Not too dry, not too sticky. No. And it's just right. And it's absolutely right, right over here at Uncle Man's. Here we are. Third location, Yen. Yep. Are you ready? I'm excited. Apparently, this is the best one Tanmi that we can get in Auckland. Well, so far, this is what I find the yeah. best so far. <laughs> right now, we're at Noodle House, which is in West Auckland, and we're about to reunite Yen with her long lost love, Wan Tanmi. So, Malaysian, for their unique way of speaking, there's always a La. 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 Everything. Yeah, so it's like, you know, um, people would say, Hey, you makan ready ah? <laughs> uh, Oi. Hey, you go there ready ah? Mm. Huh? <laughs> can, can or not? <laughs> can, can or not, not ah? Can or not, can or not <laughs> Yeah. And then even name itself. Like, so, you might be called Yen. Yeah. So, people would start calling, Hey, Ayan ah? Ayan ah? <laughs> ah. Put the ah in uh, front. They call it Manglish. The Manglish. way we speak. Like, Manglish so, is Malaysian. <laughs> yes, that's right. So if I meet another fellow Malaysian, hey, you Malaysian ah? <laughs> and then you're like, ah, eh, hey. you know the ah, eh, hey, but if I speak with a Kiwi, hey, uh, I'm a Malaysian. Yeah, you know, like, this is a better way. <laughs> it's finally arrived. Wonton mean with a uh, barbecue pork. Yeah, black gravy version. Mm. You can taste the noodle. Mm. Like these nice skinny noodles are a bit harder to find. It's egg good noodles. that they've got that. Yeah, the egg yeah. noodles. But with the sauce, oh, mm. it's got a nice texture to it. It's a bit firm, which is good. I like it. Mm -hmm. So I like it a bit of a bit wet, the noodles, so it's not too dry. So mm. I always have the soup, put it on top. The barbecue pork is like, a, you, it kind of like melt in your mouth, you know, because of the honey glaze of the barbecue pork. Mm, the honey. So, it's just like a bit of sweetness in there. And then the noodles itself. Nice and stringy. <laughs> nice and stringy because it's got the, you know, um, in Mandarin we call it you tan sing, you know, What's which that? means you tan sing means just it's, um, it's has, got elasticity. Has elasticity. 
Those wontons are good. Nice little packets of pork yumminess. <laughs> Got tagged back in and I'm about to try this harmi, which is um, Kind of translated to prawn noodles. So you got a little bit of prawn, you got the prawn based broth, and then you got a little bit of chicken on top. And you got these nice egg noodles underneath. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's like. <laughs> so much flavor. <laughs> Nice brothy seafoody stock in there that just comes straight out as soon as you take your first bite of those egg noodles. Right. Ooh, that is some good harmi. Now I'm gonna go in and try one of these prawns. That's one big fat juicy prawn. One more thing you have to remember. You have to smile and laugh. Because ha in Chinese is like ha ha xiao. Okay. Ha ha ha. Extremely meaty, just a hint of sweetness, and then that broth once again mm. just wraps that prawn up in an extra layer of juicy seafoodness. Mm. So good. I'm so full right now. It really feels like we've run a food marathon. It was absolutely <laughs> delicious. We went to three places. First one that was Gu Xiang Malaysian restaurant in Pekaranga. And then the second one we went was Uncle Man, which is also known as Pak Man in Cairo. And then um, third place that was here which is the Noodle House in New Lynn. Yeah, absolutely. If you guys have any more recommendations of great Malaysian places, please leave it in the comments down below. And if you want to see Judy on the show some more, leave those comments down there too. If you like this content and you want to see more of this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and we're going to catch you guys on more food journeys to come. Let's makan! Let's makan! <laughs>